Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we collected a whole bunch of minor moons here in Bowsette's castle. Uh, this time we're going to collect some more minor moons here in Bowsette's castle. So we're going to take this pipe, because we were pretty much over here last time. Uh, and we're going to grab some more stuff in this sort of it, in this general area, basically. Uh, if we come over this way, uh, you can see there's these rings luring us down. There's because that's because there's a ledge down there that we want to get onto. So we're going to head down there. Grab these purple coins. Uh, there's another one of those ogres here. You can see over on the other side of this poison lake. Uh, so we're going to make our way over there. Uh, you can see there's a door over there that's closed. The door will open when you kill the ogre. So we have to defeat this one as well. Dang it. There's not a lot of room to move, which makes this one a bit trickier than the other ones. That we've defeated already. There we go. But it's not a challenge. There we go. So yeah, that opens that door. There's lots of center. I think a sub-area is in there, like a fairly detailed one. I don't quite remember, to be honest, but we'll have a look. Uh, you can also see down there there's a spot to plant a seed, which we can use to grow another one of those beanstalks to visit a beanstalk cloud sub-area. Uh, here, you can get on top of that. Uh, I think you can do it just with a good cap bounce followed by a wall jump. Mm, maybe. You're not really gaining height. We're going to come down from above. <sighs> Forget how you get up there. <laughs> Triple jump, maybe. Okay, so this area is basically Pokio-based. You, you have to use a Pokio. It is possible to get up there with some extreme difficulty without a Pokio. It's also possible to just roll off the edge like that if you want. Um, but I'm not skilled enough to do it without a Pokio, so I'm going to do this area the normal way. Um, basically, you want to get get yourself a Pokio, and then go into this wall. Uh, you have to make your way up to the top, but you also have to make your way down to the bottom, because at the bottom, there's this little area that has a key in it. Oh no! Oh. And the key will unlock one of the moons. The other one is just up there. You can actually already see it from here. Okay, let's try this again. You don't press a button to actually launch, you just release the stick. So it's a little tricky to release the stick and not fling yourself if you happen to be pulling it in the wrong direction. Which sometimes happens. Okay, so yeah, you get the key. You can see there's now two moons up there. Now you want to climb up there and get both of them. Not super hard, but it's a little fiddly. And as you might guess, doing this with just Mario is extremely difficult. Uh, you can see these platforms turn a little bit, and it exposes some surface underneath. Basically, you have to do perfect jumps to get onto those surfaces in order to climb to the top, because Mario can't obviously stick to the walls uh, the way these are. These birds can. So you have to aim for the corners as these blocks are turning in order to climb up. And it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, the version with Pokios is very easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, as you can see. So that's our first moon for today. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, it's our second moon for today. And this pipe will take us back out of the sub area. I don't know why that's there. You can just jump off the tower to leave the normal way. Seems a bit redundant. Okay, so if you come over here, you can see uh, the pot we need to plant the seed in is just here. The seed is just over there, so this one's pretty easy. Uh, there's just a couple of spinies to deal with, and we can basically just bounce our way past them without too much trouble. And that makes a beanstalk, which we can climb in order to go to the sub area we want to go to. Uh, we can also use it to reach those purple coins, so we might do that. Um, but the main reason to do it is to go up into the clouds, of course.
And we can do the game's third above the cloud stage. I think it's third. Third? I think that's right. This one is based on rocket flowers, as you can see. Uh, which thankfully cancel out our crouching, so we'll be able to do this pretty much normally. Yeah! Have to be careful because um, catching, getting that moon there actually cancels out any rocket flowers you're holding. <clears throat> uh, fortunately, you can just get these rocket flowers to keep going, so not a problem. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that's both moons to be had up here. There's also quite a lot of coins to be had here. Uh, that sub-area was the fastest way in the game to grind coins before they added Balloon World. Um, then they added Balloon World, so Balloon World is much, much faster. And a lot more interesting because you're doing different things each time instead of, you know, exactly the same sub-area over and over. Because, yeah, this nut is really easy to reach again, and all those coins will be back when you're into the area. So it was very fast to grind coins that way. Uh, come over here. Uh, you can use these little slingshots to make your way over to this side. As you can see, there's some purple coins over there that we want. Uh, they're above some poison, though, so we may have to be a little careful. Uh, just do a little flip like this. Sorry, there we go. Easy. There we go. Uh, I believe we do need a Pocchio over here. Yes, you can see there's another one of them Pocchio final walls we need to use, so... Um, we just come over here, break all of these guys on the way. Obviously they intend you to have a Pocchio, which is why there's a trillion spinies here to take out with Pocchio. Uh, this part's pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple of purple coins to be had, so we'll be getting those. There we go. And then you just gotta make your way to the top without too much difficulty. And you can just head around here. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. And that gets you a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's the Bowsette's Castle Treasure Vault. Uh, as you can see, there's all these coins in here too. So it's a very uh, profitable treasure vault to enter. Uh, also, the entire place is made of pure gold or something because it's all sparkling, but you don't get to take the entire room. That would be a bit... Like, excessive, I suppose, if Mario stole Bowser's entire treasure room. Sorry, Bowser's entire treasure room. Uh, so we can see there's another ring of coins set over there. Uh, I do want to get those purple coins, but I'm not sure what the best way to do it is. Uh, we can get all of those without too much trouble. I think we'll warp back up to beneath the keep, like this. So those, those three warps are all very close together on the map, so you kind of have to zoom in to see which one you're pointing at. Which is a little annoying, but not a big deal. Uh, so, the purple coins I'm not sure about, uh, let's make our way over here again. They're basically directly below where that pipe is. Thankfully, bonking on the side of these spiky things will not hurt you. You just bonk. Uh, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so, you can see... You can see it's just down there, so I reckon if I do a backflip like this... Yep, that did the trick. Delicious. <laughs> uh, let me think, what else needs doing? Uh, we need to do the race. Uh, basically, the race is going backwards through the whole course. Uh, it starts up here beneath the keep, and you have to get back to the Odyssey, uh, which is pretty fun because when you're going backwards, you're basically jumping off a whole bunch of really high ledges, uh, and that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll do that in a second, though. Uh, over here, there's also Lakitu, who's fishing in the poison, because that makes sense. Uh, and we're going to enlist Lakitu's help to get around a bit. Also to catch a moon, because, you know, fishing. Uh, so basically, I believe we have to come over... It's actually some purple coins we can get under here. But we also want to make our way over to the other side here, near where the pipe is. Because I believe that's where the biggest fish hangs out. Uh, yeah, it's this one. So, I don't know why there's a fish in the poison, but there's a fish in the poison. Oops. Timed it wrong. Just wait a few seconds, it should respawn. 
The other reason we want to get on Lakitu is because we can get to that ledge over there by using Lakitu, because we can just sort of hover above all the poison. I don't really remember what it is you catch here. It might not be a fish, actually. Even though it looks like fish. Oops. <sighs> wait forward to respawn. I'm going to try catching this one while I wait. Just to get a little practice in. Um, I despawned because I did this in the wrong spot. Alright. You move much more slowly when you when you put your line into the water, which is sort of helpful, but sort of annoying, depending on the situation. There we go. Alright, it's Poochie! Oh yeah, that's right. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I guess Poochie is immune, immune to poison. Like, in a lot of the games, Poochie can run over things that would hurt Yoshi. So it sort of makes sense that Poochie can swim around in the poison without any problems for some reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you just make your way over here, you can hop off of Lakitu. Goodbye, friend. And we can make our way over here in order to reach this area. Uh, there's a couple of things we can do here. We can get these purple coins. We can knock down this sign over here by throwing Cappy at it. There we go. And when it falls in, our moon will pop out because every weird sign in the world has a moon inside. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh, nice frame. Okay, that's what it is. It's a nice frame. Uh, we go past this big Bowser head over here. You can see there's another moon down there, so we'll be grabbing that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, to get that one, you pretty much have to use these slingshots. Oh, no, actually, there's another way. Uh, you can go just up there to the next bit, and then jump down to here, and you will be able to land on top of that big rooftop in the middle. Uh, so you have to use the slingshots at all, actually. I just forgot that, about the fact that you don't have to use them. Um, I'm going to do the race next, I reckon. Basically, yeah, you just have to get back to the Odyssey faster than these guys. It's not too hard, because of the way this kingdom is laid out. It's pretty easy to go back, uh, as you will see shortly. Uh, so you can see, yeah, we're going all the way back to where the Odyssey would be. It's not spawned because we're in the race right now, but it's the same spot. And yeah, you're starting from right here, which is basically just where we were a second ago when we talked to the Cooper. So you can just do like a long jump like that and land here. And then you can do another one to land here in this water. And we zap our way over here to get to the shop. And we pretty hastily make our way over here to leave the shop again. <laughs> this, this is not a hard race. I'm not expecting us to have any trouble. Uh... Uh, this one, it's pretty much free, you just have to jump down there. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, and then here it's a little annoying because you're going up the steps instead of down them. But it's totally doable, without any trouble. And that's it. That's the race. Naturally, the um, B-side version of the race is a bit harder, but not hard. But we're in any trouble. A power moon. Yeah! So that's the regular cup done. Uh, next, we're going to head up here. So this ledge here is where we met up with Bowsette and did the cutscene earlier. Uh, there's now some bunnies here, because of course there are. Because this is a video game filled with bunnies wearing hats. 
<laughs> Among other things. Uh, bunnies and other things wearing hats, exactly. Uh, it's a little scary because they do go, go quite close to the edges uh, on their intended routes. And I forget which one of these bunnies actually has the moon. It's one of them. Not both. <laughs> There we go. It's this one. Okay, we chose right the first time. That's pretty cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, there's also a couple other things we can get up here if we make our way over... Um, not this side. Okay, there's a couple purple coins we can get if we make our way over to the other side here. Uh, without bonking too much, preferably. As you can see, purple coins. Uh, and if we jump off of the off of this rooftop, we can actually get down to an area that otherwise would be inaccessible, which is the top of uh, that big stone statue down there, with the Bowsette putting out the fire from her face. Uh, oh my god. Uh, you can see that there's a sparkle just here, so we want to ground pound this spot. Doing it correctly, preferably, to get a moon. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And if you look closely, you can also see there's some purple coins over there on that, on that third lantern. Uh, those ones had me stumped for quite a while on my first playthrough. Because, uh, you know, why would you go and look at these little lanterns? But yeah, they're pretty easy to get once you know they're there. Uh, and to get back up off of this uh, statue here, you just make your way over to the other side. Around here. And there's a little uh, zappy power line thingy you can capture. I don't know if the fire can actually hurt you. I don't, th I don't think it ever has hurt me, so I think it's harmless, but it might actually be real fire. Uh, that other bunny just has coins, so not much point capturing. Uh, make our way down here. So up there is where we fought the Mecha Brutal earlier. Uh, it's changed a bit because, you know, before it was just a boss fight, and now it's actually an area of the of the level. Uh, so you can see there's now a checkpoint here, which wasn't here before. Uh, there's also some new donkers just sort of hanging out for some reason. And a couple of purple coins over here. Not too tricky, there we go. Uh, there's also a timer challenge here, which I'm a little worried about. Uh, we'll see how we go. Basically, you have to climb up this big structure in order to reach the moon quickly. Uh, uh, we may be okay. Ooh, running out of time. Okay, I think we can do that. We seem to be a bit faster. No, Mario, I wanted to do a backflip. Sell a little bit of momentum so I didn't get the backflip I wanted. Okay, I need to be quite quick to do this, but it should be doable. Should be doable. Ah, made it up there in time. Ah, this is this is doable. It's just a bit hard. Um. Mario. So you can actually backflip all the way up here without using the turning parts, which makes it a bit uh, faster to get up. If I can do it right. Which I probably can't, let's be honest. So yeah, the thing about doing a homing cap throw in order to get it on the scarecrow is you also start rolling when you do that. So you have to be careful. Uh, Da, 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 da. Yeah! I knew it was doable. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to do? Uh, I think there might be a rolling rock here somewhere. One of these, maybe? Hmm, doesn't look like it. 
I have broken all the rocks here, so that's the battle there is to it. Uh, there's also a hidden moon you can ground pound for. I think it's over near these birds. Like the other, like, super hidden moons that you get a bit of a rumble when you're standing in the right spot on the controller, which you can't feel, obviously, because I'm holding the controller, but you get the idea. I think it's just here somewhere. The rumble does get stronger as I move in different directions, so it gives me a bit of a hint. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, those new donkers are actually talking about how there's a rumble, so they give you a bit of a hint about it being there. Which is nice. Uh, I forget what this sub-area is about. Oh, this one! Okay, um, what you're supposed to do here, basically, is get all of these little Jizo statues into the middle. Uh, because you can press those buttons with the Jizo statues. There's also one back there, which unlocks the other moon. So, uh, I'm not sure how doable this will be without Jizo statues. I'm gonna give it a try and see how we go, because doing it with the statues pretty much is unchanged. Uh, I'll take this one back here and open the, the moon area with it. So, and then see if I, from there I can do the rest without any moon, without any statues. Uh, the statues are immune to the spikes, but Mario isn't, so that's something to watch out for if you're trying to do statueless. Pretty easy to make our way over there. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that one was easy enough. Um, so the other one is just right at the top there. Um, we can make our way back up. I think we can probably make our way up from here with the right amount of a... with the right flip. It's just a little tricky. Uh, thankfully it's pretty easy to recover, as you can see. Uh... <laughs> There we go. Yeah. So, yeah, what you're supposed to do is go to each of those sub-areas to get another Jizo statue uh, and bring it to the middle. So you can press all three of those switches at once. Of course, obviously, that's not what we did, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, yeah, you meant to press those two switches to make walls appear so you can wall jump up instead of... Um, Doing stunts like we just did. But that was probably much faster than the regular way of doing it. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're about done over here actually, which is interesting because this area looks quite big. But there isn't actually that much to do over here. Um, let's just slingshot our way back over. We already did all of those, we did that, we did that. Uh, I don't know if the timer challenge over here will be available yet. Uh, it looks like no. Okay, that's probably inside the moon rock. I can't remember which things are in moon rocks and which things aren't. It's kind of annoying. Um, let me see, I think, uh, you can see that there's that slingshot down there. We want to get over there, I think. I think there's some moons to do over there, so let's grab a look. These big roofs are really annoyingly shaped. <laughs> and that's how Mario bonked. In case you were wondering, that's how it happened. Uh, we will get all of these uh, coin rings to make our way down, just because why not? There we go. There we go. Um, no, hang on, this, this is the same ledger. Um, maybe it's below here? Yeah, it is. Uh, you can see there's another uh, Pocchio down there. That's the platform I was thinking of. We want to go down here. So if we capture that Pocchio, like that, uh, we can go over onto this wall here, and you can see there's a bunch of stuff to do in order to get a moon. Uh, I imagine this could be done without a Pocchio, but mm, maybe, maybe. I don't know if it's possible. It, look, it looks like it might be. I think there's enough room there to long jump. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Under normal circumstances, but I get the feeling we'd just roll up if we tried. Whoa. Uh, 
Uh, we can capture this part here again once it respawns. Uh, I think there's some more stuff to do if we take that top top path there, so I'm trying to get up there. I'm in a bit of trouble. There we go. Ah, actually there isn't. I thought there was some stuff over there, but there's not. Okay, so that's all there is to do there. Um, a little disappointing, actually. Just a bit, just a bit lackluster, I guess. Just the one moon. Alright, anyway, we got that. Uh, we're getting pretty close to having all the moons on this side, which is pretty good. 39 out of 45, that's pretty good. Uh, the Hintard is one of them that we haven't done yet. What else haven't we done yet? Um, I'm not sure. We did that, uh, we did that. We did the stuff up there. I'm not sure what we haven't done yet. Some purple coins over there that I missed, so we can get those. That's nearly all the purple coins, we're still a few short. Oh, over here, over here. Oh, you can see that there's a, there's like, um, crates in this wall. You want to break the crates and get in behind them because there's a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's uh, 40 out of 45. We're shooting for 44 here because uh, we don't want to do the Peach Moon until the B-side. So we're doing fine so far. I believe we already got this one. Yep. Uh, Oh, hello. Okay, so we have all the purple coins, because that's 97, and there's three more up over here where we were looking a second ago. Uh, I think we need a Bokio to get up there. Maybe. Maybe we can do it without one. Let's have a look around. Oh yeah, we can just go on this side to get up there without any Bokios. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just get these purples. There we go, there we go. We just nab all, all those, and that's maximum purples for this kingdom. 99, 100. Yay! <laughs> Let me just flip back through. Would you need to look at the rest, the rest of the purples in lunching? We're short a few there. Uh, so I will be doing that off camera, probably. Uh, not right now, though. Let me think, what else needs doing? There aren't, a, there aren't a whole lot more moons to do. I kind of want to do them in this video, just so that we don't have a really short video for the next one. Uh, but it might be, it might end up being really long because of that 2D section, which I think is nigh impossible to get into, if not actually impossible. Uh, I'm going to have a talk to talk to, because I'm not sure what to do next, actually. Um, we've done most of the stuff on the A side of this kingdom. Wrong way, Talker is over here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hello, Talker 2. Uh, taking notes in the folding screen. So yeah, that's one of the 2D moons that I don't know if we can do. Peach and Bowsette's Kingdom uh, we'll be doing on the B side. Poking the turret wall. Okay, so there's some more um, Pokio related ones we can do, apparently. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, there's, there's another Pokio one, which gives us 41, and it's 42, plus the Hint Art's 43, plus these two that I don't think they're doable. Okay, so yeah, that's all of them. So we've got to do that poking, poking the turret wall, and then the Hint Art, and then... Uh, I might just save that 2D area for a separate video, because I have a hunch it's going to be really hard, if not impossible. Um... Anyway, um, the turret wall is, um, I think over here? Actually, I think it might be that one of these holes that I said won't give us a moon will actually give us a moon. Uh, and it's in the, the previous area, so we can't actually bring this block here with us, so let's ditch it. <laughs> so yeah, poking the turret wall, you just have to find the right hole, and you just stick your little Bokio nose in, and it gives you a moon. 
Uh, I think it's this one over here. Hey Mario. That one up there that I said was coins. I think it's not coins. <laughs> uh, and we switch back to the other music because we're at the earlier parts of the kingdom now. Yeah, this game has two different sets of music depending on how far into it you are, which is nice. Nope, that's coins. Okay, so... Hmm. Somewhere else we can poke our nose in that I've forgotten about. Uh, it could be in a lot of places. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I did think that one was coins, and it, it is. Alright, I'm in the right area. Let me see. Oh, I think I know what it is. Um, oops, took a hit. Uh, basically, if you hit that over there and break these blocks, there's actually a hidden poke spot behind there, which I think is a little rude, given that usually when there's something hidden in a box, you have to break the box sparkles. But, whatever. Okay, so there's that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so we're going to cash these in and go to the hint art, which involves us going back to uh, Tostarina. If we look at the... Yeah, let's warp on back to the Odyssey. Uh, 41 out of 45, so that's 42 out of 45. Plus the hint art, 40, 42 out of 45, 43, 44. Okay, yeah, so it's th those two 2D two moons and Peach Moon that we're going to be doing later are the ones we haven't got yet, so... I don't know if the 2D moons are possible. I probably want to save a video for it so I can experiment a bit and see if I can get in there. Uh, but for now, we're just going to head back to Sost Arena and get the Hint Art Moon. Oh, actually, we've got something to do back in Bowsette's Kingdom when we get back to it. Uh, because the Hint Art from Tost Arena points to Bowsette's Castle. So we actually have to come back here and get that moon as well. So I'm glad I remembered that because I, I had forgotten that that needed doing. But now I have remembered. <laughs> um, but yeah, what we got to do for this one, I believe it's in the Moai habitat area. So we'll just make our way over there. Um, we could warp. We do have a checkpoint over there, but I think we'll just roll. It's fun. Rolling is fun. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, uh, don't go that way. <laughs> got places to go. We gotta follow our rainbow. I could actually sing if you want. I'm, I know that some people like it when I sing, so maybe I will. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Can't stick around. Gotta keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Okay, I believe it's just over here somewhere. Unless I'm misremembering, which is entirely possible. Um, no, no, that's right, it's just here. Just here near this one. Um, I forget which side of the cactus it's on. It's here somewhere. There we go. No time for guess and follow my plan instead. Take that next step, no matter what that may be. Take my hand, I'll set you free. Follow me. Oh, that's the wrong lyric. Trust. Uh, some I've forgotten. <laughs> Follow me, set me free. Trust me, and we will escape from the city. Made it through, prove it to you. Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that Hint Art Moon done. We're going to head back over to Bowsette's Castle and do the Hint Art Moon there, which happens to be for this kingdom. And we'll cash that in, and then I'm going to call out a video. Uh, 
I'm concerned that the 2D section might be impossible. Uh, I might experiment a little bit off camera to see if I can get the timing down. Uh, or I might just try to do it in the next video. We'll see how we go. Uh, but yeah, we head over to Bowsette's Castle. Basically, the same spot as where we were. Over near the souvenir shop is where we have to be. I'll probably warp there because Bowsette's Kingdom is kind of annoying to navigate through compared to some of the others. It's sort of... It's, it's sort of a linear thing instead of a big playground. It's a little annoying. It's a lot of fun. I like it as a, I like it as a kingdom, and coming here to get all the extra power moons I really enjoy. But uh, coming here just to get the the um, what am I trying to say? The story moons here. I don't really like how linear it is and how they're all mandatory. Um, I do enjoy most of the of the like post game stuff though. Okay, so the hint art, uh, which we saw quite a while ago actually, that's not what I wanted. That's the e shop. Go back. If we go to the album, <laughs> um, we look at the hint art. We can see it's showing the shop there and it's showing the checkpoint. It says six, three, and the moon. So if we have a look back in the game, uh, and we crouch again, you can see there's these little stones. And is the checkpoint. So if you count one, two, three stones here, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, you get to this stone in the middle. And if you ground pound on this stone, you get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so with that, the Sand Kingdom is now nearly done, uh, as insofar as it can be. Uh, we have 87 moons there out of 89. There's one tourist moon to get there, and there's the one where we have to not crouch. So we're not getting that one. Uh, but apart from that, that's some good progress. Uh, as for this kingdom, uh, if we scroll back over to Bowsette's castle. 42 out of 45, so... Uh, that's the, that's the uh, Peach Moon, plus the two moons in the 2D section. Which I have a feeling cannot be done. Uh, which might be a problem. Uh, I'm going to experiment and see if I can get to that 2D section. If we can, then we'll be doing them. Otherwise, well, we won't, because it's possible. Uh, the Peach Moon is definitely doable, so we'll be getting that. Don't worry about that one. Um, I'm just making my way back here the slow way, just for the fun of it. The movement in this game is really, really fun. So it's just it's just enjoyable to just move around and navigate your way through. Even though you have checkpoint warps that make getting through here much much easier, it's still fun. Uh, here's the Goombas. Uh, but apart from that 2D section, the A side of Bowsette's Kingdom is done. So we're gonna cash in this moon that we just got. There we go. And in the next video, I'm gonna have another look at that 2D segment. See if I can manage it. If not, I guess we can't do it. And I'll just be doing the B side in the next video. Uh, which would be sad. Hopefully there's a way to get in there. We'll have to see. Um, but apart from that, this kingdom is A side done. So that's pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And woo me. Woo me to all involved. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>